Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name is David Gafford, and today we're going to do an unboxing and test with the Fireboard 2 Drive. I can't wait, and we've got it all coming up right now. <laughs> All right, today is the day. We have got our Fireboard 2 in the mail, and I'm telling you, I'm excited about putting this thing to use. We got a chance to see it at the HPBA show, and this is the actual production model that we have here. Now, let's walk you through what we have on the table. We have the Fireboard 2 drive unit in the box. We have a fan, which is the pit controller fan, so we can actually control the temperature on both our Kamado grills and our drum grills. And then we have a couple of competition probes that we picked up because competition probes, I was dying to see these after we, after we uh, got our hands on them at the show because they're so skinny. They're so small that you can use them in competition meats without leaving a big gaping hole in whatever it is that you're cooking. So I can't wait to put those to use today as we get this thing fired up for dinner and give it a full test. So as a first thing, let's get this thing unboxed and we'll show you what's inside. All right, as we get this opened up here, we start with the instruction book right off the bat. Then we see the actual fireboard unit here. Oh, and I can feel the weight, the heft to this. One of the things I like is that this is already built in a weatherproof case. Now, it's not completely waterproof. I wouldn't go submerging it in, in a sink just to prove the, the weatherproof of it. But it is weatherproof if you leave it outside and it starts to rain. It'll give you some time to go and rescue it. All right, so that's the fireboard itself. Then underneath, we have this package. And this package comes with a few things. Here's some information on the temperature probes, wireless connection information, and then some compliance information as well. We've got those, as well as this probe, which this probe is our ambient temperature probe. This is the one that we'll be using to tell us the temperature of our pit itself. This is the clip that goes with the ambient temperature probe. So it goes like that. And then inside we have some regular food probes. So this is probe one and probe two. As well as our USB-C connector and our power brick. All right, nice little Fireboard logo on the outside there. So this is the Fireboard 2 drive, and I cannot wait to get this thing plugged in and running. All right, so we'll start by firing up the Fireboard 2, and if you look off to the side, there are three buttons on the side. You can push any one of those to power up the unit. As that comes to life, we have channel one. Now, if we follow the instructions, what it says is to go ahead and pair it with the Fireboard app on your phone. So we've downloaded the Fireboard app and we went ahead and created our own account, but now we need to add Fireboard. And as we add Fireboard, it's gonna start scanning for the unit and it says, hey, select a nearby Fireboard. This is the Fireboard that we want. There is our unit synced to the Fireboard app and we are off to the races. Neat little feature here. I like how it shows you the battery life of the unit that we are at 74% right now. And it shows us that we have that uh, in the synchronization, which I think is really great. Cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hook up a couple of probes to the fireboard. Uh, channel two, we'll go ahead and put a food probe and channel one, I'll go ahead and put an ambient temperature probe. And so as we look at those, it shows channel one and channel two are both actually registered on the unit. And you can switch between the two 
by pressing the button on the side. It's channel two. Channel one. The center button switches between the channels. The bottom button switches between the views within a specific channel. But it's saying that here in the studio, we're about 90.5 degrees, so it's a brisk one today. And uh, we're sweating bullets. All right, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna head into settings. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the settings button here. It's gonna show us our fireboard. I'm gonna hit this. And this is where we can change the device name. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the device name. We'll say the barbecue. Lab. Done. All right, we've renamed our device. As easy as that. Manage Wi-Fi. Allow while using the app. And there's where we can go into network name. We want to view available networks. There's ours. And connect. All right, it looks like we've connected to Wi-Fi. So we have changed the device name. We've connected to Wi-Fi. Now we wanna look at the drive settings because we have a drive blower fan that we got along with this fireboard and we wanna put that to the test. Now I wanna go ahead and hit the programs button here. And it's gonna ask me if I have a drive program I want to run because we're gonna use the drive blower fan to manage our Kamado. And I wanna go ahead and add a drive program. And this program I want to run is a temperature program. So instead of calling it temperature program, we're going to call this one chicken thighs. And this is going to be on our Kamado. So I'm going to go ahead and say Kamado. So we have chicken thighs, Kamado, and then I want to go ahead and look at the steps here. We want to run this not at 225. We want to go ahead and edit this. This is going to be 300 degrees. And the target temperature for our chicken thighs is I'm going to go ahead and hit 175. And then hit done. That's step one. And then step two, hold at 180. That's completely fine with me. Um, it can hold at 180 no problem. So next thing is to go ahead and hit start program. But in order to do that, we've got to go ahead and fire up our drive blower fan. So we'll go ahead and get this out of the packaging, get it plugged in and out at the grill. All right, we're out here at the grill and we have our grill dome Kamado and we have the fan control unit for the fireboard two hooked up to the input. And we're going to go ahead and run a fan test. And we're going to see how the fireboard two controls the temperature of this Kamado. So I have it here on the app. I have my fireboard set up. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here to the programs part and I have it set up for a fan drive test. I'm gonna hit fan drive test. I'm gonna say, I want you to go ahead and hold it at 250 and I'm gonna hit start program. Now the first thing I need to do is go ahead and light this up. And if you come over here and look, <clears throat> we have a Dragon Egg from Barbecue Dragon, which is a lighter that we use to be able to light up the Kamado. And we're just going to simply light that up and then we're going to let the fan do all of the work to control the temperature of this Kamado. So it's as simple as this. We stick this in. We light that up. We go ahead and close this. I'm going to go ahead and open my damper on the top. I'm going to hit start program. It says the program is running. Now I can go back to the dashboard and it says the fan is running at 10%. The set point is 250. And it's using the grill temperature probe as the control channel. So it's gonna go ahead and keep monitoring temperature. The fan speed is ramping up 28%. It will continue to do that as it controls the fan and the temperature inside the Kamado. And we're gonna go ahead and let the fan and the fireboard too do all the work to get this up to temperature. So we'll report back in a little bit, but that's what we're running, a little fan test for you. 
All right, so we've been running our Kamado with the fireboard drive for this test. And our goal was to be able to keep it around 250 degrees and let the fireboard drive just maintain that temperature over time. We've been holding it steady here for a while, but this isn't our first test that we've run on the fireboard to be able to get it to do this. We learned a couple things on the way, and I'm gonna share those with you. The first thing that we learned was that the fireboard drive isn't really designed to be able to bring your Kamado up from cold to your desired temperature. That's not the way that this, that this fan controller is designed. It's designed for you to be able to get your pit to the temperature that you're looking to maintain, and then turn on the drive program and the drive will actually maintain that temperature for you. There are others in the market that will actually take it from cold all the way to your desired temperature, but that's not something that we're doing here with the Fireboard Drive. So I actually overshot my temperature on accident thinking that that was something that I was supposed to do. It's not something you're supposed to do with the drive. Now, what you can see here is we've had this going for well over an hour now. And if you take a look, you can see here on the, um, on the Fireboard app that we are holding it 250. And if you look at that, you can see that it's just gone a little bit above, a little bit below, a little bit above, a little bit below. And it's been maintaining that temperature plus or minus just a couple of degrees, which is fantastic. That's really what I'm looking for in a fan controller. And I've been really happy with it. Now, if you look at the top, you can see as well that we have the fan speed, which is currently at 0% because we're at 252 degrees. We also have the set point, which is 250, and it shows you that we're an hour into this cook or this test. The nice thing about it is it, once you actually get it to around the, the, your target temperature and you set the drive to go, it will actually get you to where you wanna go and stay there. Hey, today we're cooking some ribs and I wanted to show you as we're using the fireboard to track our temperature in these racks of ribs, the difference between the regular food probe and the competition probe. This is actually the regular food probe looks relatively small, great little size. When you put it up against the competition food probe, massive difference. So you have the regular food probe here, the competition food probe here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this in some racks of ribs that we're doing and show you how easily this goes between a couple bones and how hard it is to get something like this between a couple bones. So love these competition food probes. So let's go ahead and get them on the grill and show you what they look like. So the difference here is how much, how big of a hole is this gonna make in a set of competition cuts? I mean, it's gonna be really, really tough. You're gonna have to almost discard this rib. And when you have something like this, you're never gonna be able to even tell you had this in there. So we're gonna go ahead and shut this, uh, shut this down, check on this here in a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and let this cook go and see how these competition probes perform. Well, we're at a point where we're gonna go ahead and wrap these ribs. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull out these competition probes so we can wrap them. Check out how small that hole is from this probe. You can barely even tell where it is. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm so, I'm so thrilled with the size of these competition probes. I think you guys will be too. So when you order a fireboard, make sure you check out some competition probes with them because man, these things, are the stuff. So what kind of overall thoughts do I have about the Fireboard 2? I'm gonna start by saying I absolutely love this thermometer. If you start by thinking about the things that I really like about it, I love the huge display on the front. That huge display always showing you your temperature if you're in the proximity or on the app is absolutely fantastic. I love the fact that there's multiple modes and multiple view modes on it that allow you to see all six temperatures at once, all six thermometers at once, or just focus in on one thermometer. It's, it's really phenomenal. I love the display. That's the first thing I love about it. 
The second thing I love about it is that there are six probe ports. I mean, six probe ports. I mean, that is perfect for competitions, for big backyard cooks, whether you're cooking for family, friends, or the neighborhood. You're gonna have enough to be able to make sure you can monitor any meat that you're trying to put on this grill. And I also love the competition probes. If you look back in the video a little bit, we had those competition probes and we showed you the this the size difference between the standard probes and the competition size probes. I love those competition size probes. They were easy to fit in and you can barely tell where you put it. That's a, that's a game changer right there. So for those reasons alone, I absolutely love the Fireboard too. Now, when we get into the fan controller, I do wish it had the ability to take your grill from cold to your desired temperature. And I'm sure that's something in the future that they might add as a, as a feature or a capability of this. But <clears throat> for now, I can work with that. The fan is a nice fan unit. I'm happy with the fan unit, uh, especially when it... Sorry. All right. When it comes to the fan unit, I'm happy with the fan unit. Getting it plugged into the grill is not the most intuitive thing I've, I've used, but it actually makes sense once you figure out the little stainless steel rods on the side and how you cinch that up and make it tight. It'll make a really, really tight fitting once you get used to that. Overall, I love the Fireboard too, and I think it would be a fantastic addition to your cooking arsenal if this is in your price range. For more information, check out the links in the description below, and we're sure glad that you visited us here on the Barbecue Lab. If this is your first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and like this video. Hit that bell to make sure you get notifications. We don't want you to miss out on anything. We're always reviewing new gear and new barbecue accessories for you, so you buy the best and you forget the rest. So I'm David from the Barbecue Lab. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next time right here.